Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Trigger Happy Havoc Dangan Rumpa. So we just finished the end of the prologue on the last episode, so let's continue onward. I wonder who's going to be the first to off it. I feel like it's going to be the supermodel. Chapter One. And? Stay alive? <laughs> hey. Snap out of it, guys. Things are getting serious. Listen to me. <laughs> you hear me? His facial expression, then. Right? Stupid. What the? I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as that, love. This is fine. Yeah, because it made a point of saying don't ever let your handbook fall into someone else's possession. Wonder what happens if they do get a hold of your handbook. Unacceptable use of time. What is an acceptable use of time? Killing people for your entertainment? Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise, exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punishment uh, punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as shown earlier, as is destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless they are discovered. Ah, so there's the catch, so really you're not free if you're discovered. You probably end up getting killed yourself if you're found out. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary.
Stop fucking around. <laughs> He's really miffed. <laughs> she definitely has a dark side to her. Well, why don't you do it if you're so curious? Curio curiosity killed the cat, However. remember? This isn't a game, dude! It's life and death! You don't respawn once you're dead. Yo. And... What? Piece of shit! <sighs> She seems a bit bored of that. That's true. Um. Well, exactly what it says. You won't graduate, but it kind of leaves it elusive. I do think they end up getting killed if they are discovered. Hmm. <laughs> oh, because you're so smart and you could never possibly get discovered. Such ignorance. <laughs> Give me a break. Not with a real blade. Not yet, anyway. Ha 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 ha. Okay. You understand? I hope he dies soon. I really do. I do not have a soft spot for him whatsoever. Let's do He's it. like a rabid raccoon or something. Frothing at the mouth, going crazy. Hm. Of course you will. You're too good for us muggles. What? What? <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> He's so smog. I want to slap him. Uh, um. Just hold on. It's not really up to you, though, Mondo. What? <laughs> Plankton. <laughs> That's an amazing insult. What? If you don't know what it means, you need more education, fine sir. Such ignorance. You're fucking dead. That's what they want. They want to see carnage and death and destruction what? and chaos and blood and giblets. You want to throw down? Well, I can already clearly see you've lacked a father figure in your life.
You son of a bitch! Oh dear, I've been punched! just suddenly right there in my face that what that's what usually happens with a punch not that I've ever been punched I'm a good girl this face is not for punching I've been knocked out. I've not just been punched. I have actually been knocked out. Oh dear. Wow, that must have been one heck of a punch. My room, I guess. <laughs> as if it had become routine. <laughs> I'm growing accustomed to waking up in random rooms. You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the square button. You can use this menu to check the school regulations and character info in the report cards section. At certain points, map and truth bullets may not be available. Truth bullets? Hmm. You can also save and load game data under the system section. Finally, press the select button to review the transcript. This records all pertinent info, so use this to review comments from everyone involved. Right, let's bring up this then, so we can save here. Presents. View, review whatever personal belongings you have on you. I don't have any, I don't think. No, I don't have any. Report card. Review the report cards for each student at Hope's Peak. Guess I'll just flick through them all now for you guys. I wonder if more information gets filled in on these as you talk to the characters. Because that'll be cool. And then you can refer back to this. Because apparently, so I've read, you can give them gifts and things from um, spending coins in the vending machine. So, yeah, I wonder if they have likes and dislikes when it comes to those kinds of things. She's very mysterious. She's definitely one of the first people that I want to get to know because she's just like one big question mark. She's bizarre. She's totally insecure. Man, woman thing. <laughs> the liar, the queen of lies. She's too sweet and innocent. There is something about her that I don't trust. Regulations. I don't need to look through that because we've already looked through. So let's have a look around my room. This must be the key to my room. My name's written on the keychain. That is mine. What's this? Some kind of lint roller. Whoa, there's loads of things to look at in this room. 
A bin? What is this trickery? Oh, I got a coin. Awkward to control that sometimes. Well, especially in my room, it's weird. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Right, definitely don't lose our key then. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note the water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathroom, uh, bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. That's weird. Why would they need another lock in the uh, in their own bathroom in their room? We've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. <laughs> okay, that's very sexist. But there we go. Girls should sew, and boys a toolkit, and boys should only play with hammers. Sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. Yeah, that's twisted. Don't think there's anything on the floor or anything. It would appear to be the bathroom! Not opening my bathroom doesn't work! What am I supposed to do if I need the toilet? Another TV in the room. Anyway, I think it's time to venture out, I think. It's locked. Maybe sleep? Doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about this bed. Well, I've pretty much um, looked at everything, haven't I? Hang on, drawers. Aha, the toolkit. Oh, I thought I was going to use it to break into the, my own bathroom, which it won't let me. It's my room. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. 
So, someone's brought me to my room. I don't know who it was. Yes, indeed. What is everyone up to right now? Venture outside with my trusty key. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to stop this episode here. And on the next episode, we are going to try and venture outside my dorm room and possibly speak to some other characters and get to know them a little bit. And hopefully a murder will happen soon. I'm super excited to see who dies. That's really, really grim, but I am. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and share the video. All types of engagement really help me out as a YouTuber. As always, guys, thank you for watching and take it easy.